Hey, Lily. I have an important announcement to make. An announcement? What is it? I just handed in the divorce papers. Huh? Whose divorce papers? Our papers. What? Why would you do that? It's the end of our marriage now. We're gonna part ways as strangers. Hold on, this is all coming too fast. I can't process all of this. How could this happen? I don't remember signing anything like that. As your representative, I did it on your behalf. What? You can't do that. There's no such thing. You can if your handwriting skills are as good as mine. It didn't take too long to fake your signature. You can't do that, Sean. That's a crime. So they've already accepted those papers? That means we're officially not a married couple, right? Yes, ma'am. We are officially separated. Does that mean I have to change my last name? I'll leave that up to you, although I prefer if you did. In the meantime, I'm just happy we were able to get a divorce. I need a second to process this. It's all happening too fast. I don't understand why this is coming out of the blue. Why do you want to divorce me? I thought things were okay lately. It should be obvious. Don't make me spell it out. I'm just getting fed up looking after you. You aren't worth it anymore. What do you mean I'm not worth it? I've always taken care of you in my own way. Did I do something to annoy you? I want to know what I did wrong so I can fix it. Was I honestly the only one thinking our marriage was fine? Are you hiding your feelings from me or something? Can you really say that you look after me too? I beg to differ. While I'm out there working, I expect you to be doing the housework. But when I come home, nothing is done. I don't want to take care of some loafer that does nothing all day. What am I going to get out of that? Nothing. Okay, well thank you for everything you've done and for supporting me financially. But I think you're being too harsh and this divorce is taking it way too far. I've been putting my best effort into cleaning the house, you know that, right? It's not good enough. I need you to work harder than that. What do you mean? The place is always in good condition. In what way did you want it to be better? With the job that you do, I'd be better off hiring a cleaning service to take care of the house. It would be cheaper and I could get rid of you. Well, if you're thinking about it from a money standpoint, the cleaning service would probably be cheaper in the long run. But what does that say about me? Am I now just a cleaner for your house? Isn't a wife meant to be even more than that? Life can be more than that, but she has to maintain the foundation. The foundation is keeping the house great. We used to live together before we were married, and I wasn't satisfied with how the house was every day. I thought maybe if we were married, you would eventually pick up the slack and realize your role as a wife. Turns out I was wrong about that. The house was still filthy even after we married. Wow, so you're saying the reason you married me was to pick up the slack and clean the house more. Here, I was thinking you loved me and wanted to spend your life with me. Fair enough, I accept your reason for getting the divorce, even if I think it's a bit stupid. But I have to say again, forging my divorce paper and handing it in without my permission is a crime. I don't think you can do that. It'll be fine as long as no one finds out about it. I'm not worried about anything. I think I have to have a word with my lawyer. You have to admit you haven't treated me fairly in this matter. You didn't even consult me about getting a divorce and you forged my documents. I'm telling you it's pointless. Don't even bother. If I say we're getting divorced, that means we're getting a divorce. There's no room for argument. Maybe that's what you want, but I have a say in this too. I won't accept this divorce. Your reason is too simple and isn't fair. You didn't have to go as far as getting a divorce. You could have just had a conversation with me and we could have worked out a solution. I'm going to take a little bit of time to talk with my lawyer. 
If they convince me there's nothing I can do about it, I'll let you have your win and we can get the divorce. Otherwise, I'm not backing down without a fight. <laughs> You're just wasting your time, honestly. The documents are handed in. The divorce is already in process. If the lawyer says you can't get it done, then give up. While you're at it, you should apologize to him for wasting his time as well. That's what I'll do. But I have a good feeling this marriage isn't over. Whatever you feel doesn't matter. The marriage is over, and that's a fact. I'll be staying in a hotel for the week while I wait for word from your lawyer. Enjoy your usual loafer lifestyle without me. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's about time. I was wondering how much longer you were going to take. Do you know how expensive this hotel is here? Wait, don't tell me you actually stayed in a hotel the whole time. That's way too extravagant. Of course I didn't. Are you stupid? Not even I have the money to stay in a hotel for a whole month. I had to crash at some friend's place every now and then. Sometimes I met a stranger that was kind enough to let me stay over. There were really some shady characters, but I'd rather that than see your face ever again. I see. So that must be how much you hate me then, is it? It sure is. It wasn't easy, but it was far better than staying at home with you. Anyway, enough of that. I want to know how it went with the lawyer. They told you the same thing I did, right? It's pointless to keep trying. Give up already. Sorry to tell you, Sean. As expected, you were wrong, and what you did was illegal. What, really? Just exactly what law am I breaking anyway? Surely this would just be some kind of minor offense and I wouldn't have to do time for it? I wouldn't be so optimistic if I was you. According to the lawyer, the law states that the forgery of signed, private documents can lead to three to five years in prison. The moment you hand those documents in, you're liable to serve this charge according to what he says. Was that what you were expecting? Don't tell me you were actually hoping to spend a potential five years in prison over this. What the hell? That can't be right. You must have consulted some dodgy lawyer or something. Sorry, Sean. I'm telling you the truth. I don't know what else you were expecting. It should be obvious that you would spend time in prison for something like this. What a load of garbage. Copying your signature on some documents shouldn't be such a big deal. Why do I have to go to jail for this? If I decide to take this to court, it'll be an easy win for me. I don't think it would take more than 30 minutes to send you to jail. Just wait a second. You don't want to do that. Why is that? Give me a reason after you pull a stunt like this on me. I'm not in a good mood. Let's talk this out. Uh, we can come to some sort of solution instead of condemning me to a cell. What do you mean, come to a solution? That's what I said before, and you turned me down. Well, things are different now. You know that. Uh, look, we don't need the courts to figure out a solution for this. Let's just talk about it, me and you. What do you say? Okay, I'm listening. What do you propose? Seeing as the documents have already been submitted, we don't have a lot of options, to be honest. The only thing we can do is just have your testimony that the documents were true and that you signed them. Uh, what do you think? Do you think you can do that? <laughs> That's not us having a discussion and talking about solutions. That's you being selfish and choosing the solution that best suits you. What do you mean best suits me? The solution benefits you as well. Wouldn't you be embarrassed to have an ex-husband that's serving a prison sentence? Not really. Doesn't bother me that much. If you were still my husband, it would be a different story. But the moment you go to prison, you're nothing but a stranger to me. You can be as disgraceful as you want, and it won't be linked back to me. So you really think your reputation isn't going to be harmed? Everyone likes money, right? How much do you want? Money? Well, it would be good to have a nice payout. Admit it, you need money, don't you? You have no job and no savings. For the longest time, you've leached off of me and my hard-earned money. So, what will it be? 
A bit of extra money would be good, but I should be fine. I don't want to be a sellout like that. <laughs> Are you for real? I don't know how you think you're going to get by with no money. I bet you're planning to be like one of those bums that leech off the welfare system. Admit it, that's what you're going to do, isn't it? You're going to crawl around with the other cockroaches in this country. That's so ignorant. They aren't cockroaches. And I'm not going to be a cockroach either. It's my right to be put on a welfare system. There's nothing wrong with that. So it's true. You really do plan on getting welfare. I guess you never really needed a husband after all. Don't be stupid. I'm not going to be doing that. I don't need it. So then tell me what you're going to do. I'm curious how you're going to get by without a strong man there to support you. Okay, I'll spill the beans then. Despite what you say, I think I'm very good at taking care of the house and keeping it clean. Debatable. I never walked home to a place where I could relax. But go on. I do a good job, thank you very much. Maybe you don't know this, but I've taken courses in home economics in high school and as an adult as well. Extensive classes, actually. Wow, you're such a special girl. And what about it? Ugh, oh, I have to spell this out to you, don't I? Which means I'm capable in every area of managing the house. Can you get to the point already? I'm asking you what you're going to do from this point on without me. Do you think just being able to clean a house is enough? You need money, woman. You don't have any skills that makes money. You've been piggybacking off of me this whole marriage. Which is why we are where we are now. This divorce is the price you pay for being lazy over the years. Hopefully you can learn something from this. Oh, I'm not the one paying the price. Make no mistake. You're the one losing from this. <laughs> what do you mean? I have a job. I'm not going to have any difficulties in getting by, unlike you. Maybe if you paid more attention to what your wife has to say, you wouldn't miss out on this important information. As it happens, I have quite a hefty income that you don't know about. I'm teaching people how to properly manage their house online. There's actually a big demand for it. You'd be surprised. What the hell? Who would pay for some useless course like that? What is the world coming to? I wouldn't disrespect it that much if I was you. I'm earning quite a good amount. Probably more than you. So, this whole time you thought your money was supporting me, I've actually been the one supporting you. Huh? You support me? That's hilarious. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'm the man of the house. I make the money here. Sorry, Sean. That's just plain not true. Oh, and here's the real kicker. I've made so much money that I have way too much left over. I decided to start my own company. Are you serious? I didn't know you had that much money. This whole time, right under my nose. I sure do. My company is based around being a housewife. The mothers who have a high level of managing the household are employed by me. From there, I send them to households where the owners are too busy to manage it on their own. There's quite a good supply and demand balance here. I earn a good share. That sounds like a good business model. So it's really working out for you, huh? Yes, sir. Not only does it make money, but the people that we are helping are really grateful for our service. It's a really humble venture that I've been working on for some time now. I see. So you didn't need me after all. Nope. I stuck around with you because I loved you, but not anymore. I'm actually at my parents rearranging my stuff in my room right now. Wow, that is way too fast. I didn't expect you to move out this soon. I'm a busy woman. I have to move fast. Let me think about this new development a little bit more. Well, it's great you've got your own company and you're making money. It just proves my point that you're a real leech, doesn't it? <laughs> How? Let's hear your reason. 
Well, let's just face it. If you were earning that much money, you wouldn't move back to your parents. You would get your own place, right? Why would I do that? I like my parents. The reality is, you don't have the money to get your own place. So you have to share the rent with your parents. Don't worry, I see right through you. If I move out on my own, I'll never have time to clean the house. I'm managing my own company for Christ's sake. Without the help of my parents, I'd never be able to settle down and have my room organized. Not only that, I'm doing them a favor and paying a little bit above average for the rent and living expenses. Is that so? Yes. So that's the reason why your money is not going to convince me to plead your innocence. There's no money you can give me that would satisfy me. What other options do I have left? Well, how about you think of something? What is it that you want from me? I'll do anything. Look, I don't know to be honest. After some thinking, I was actually thinking about getting the divorce myself. Huh? You did? Why? Isn't it obvious? You should know why. I don't, so just hurry up and tell me. You've been a horrible husband to me this whole time. You come home in the middle of the night, scream in my ear to wake up and make your dinner. On the days where you finally have a day off, you don't spend time with me. Instead, you go out with your friends to go play golf. When you come back with them, you try to show off. You tell me to make food with whatever we have in the fridge and ridicule me in front of them. You may be a great worker, but as a husband, you're horrible. Well, look, I can't really help what time I get home. Work is work. If I have to stay back for work, that's my duty. As for golf, it's one of those things where it's not my job, but it's part of the job. I have to create a report with my colleagues. There's a little power hierarchy in our company. If I don't show them that I'm capable of golf, my social standing will suffer because of it. That's fine, and I understand it. If you truly loved me, I would have accepted that was my duty, and there wasn't much I could do about it. But the reality is, you speak harshly to me and put me down in front of other people. You order me around like I'm some slave and not someone that you love. I was raised to respect and love my husband no matter what, but this is way too much. I don't know how I can respect a man like you. Now that I have the means to support myself without you, I don't see any reason to continue this marriage. I'm sick of you bragging about yourself all the time. Thanks for doing me a favor and handing in the divorce papers early. Well, you do have a point. I might not have been the best husband. But then again, let's take a look at you. On what basis do you get to brag about yourself? Sure, you had your own company, but all you did was housework and you bragged about it all the time. You're just doing the bare minimum that everyone else does. I don't see what's so great about it. And that's exactly the type of disrespect I'm talking about. No appreciation at all for what I did. I'm done cleaning your house and living to your expectations. <laughs> don't act like you're above me. You don't make the decisions. I do. I already have enough people that want me to clean the house for them. I don't have any time for you. Not only do they show me appreciation, they also pay me a decent amount of money for it too. So, I find the idea of staying with you and cleaning your house for free very silly. Why would I do that when I have so many nice people lining up at the door for me? You have to do it on principle. I supported you financially with my money. You pay me back doing the housework. Well, not anymore, little man. By the way... The money you earn for yourself feels a lot better than money that just gets given to you. I quite like what I'm doing now. I don't need you to tell me that. I've been making my own money for years now. I'm just letting you know how much I don't need you. So with that being the case, I'm in agreement with this divorce. But I'm not going to let you off the hook easily. I want this to be a grueling and painful process for you. Firstly, I will invalidate the divorce papers because you forged them. That way, the court will sentence you to time in prison. Afterwards, I'm going to get the divorce anyway because I really don't want to be with you. 
You spiteful woman! You really want to punish me, don't you? As much as humanly possible. First, they'll dish out your sentence, but because I'm filing for a divorce, they'll probably suspend it first. And because of your criminal conviction, no one is going to think twice about not hiring you because they won't be able to trust your integrity. You'll have no hope of getting a job. After that, I'll push for charges for you trying to forge my signature. You'll be left broke and broken. That's insane! Uh, what's gonna happen to me? Whatever you can imagine and more. I hope you weren't too attached to the house and the car because they're certainly gonna be taken. No, I've worked my whole life to pay for those things. Uh, they're mine. I won't have them taken away from me. But Sean, think about it. In the end, you're getting exactly what you wanted. You intended to get a divorce, right? This is how it happens. I didn't want a divorce like this, and you know it. I wanted to divorce in a way where I didn't lose anything. I wasn't expecting my possessions to be taken away from me. Too bad. When we do evil, evil gets wrought upon us. You shouldn't have forged my signature, honey. Don't do this, Lily. Have mercy on me. I've never been to prison. They'll eat up a pretty guy like me for sure. Whatever sentence they decide to dish out to you has nothing to do with me. I don't make the laws. They do. But don't give up that easily. There's got to be something you can do. As the victim, I'm sure you can plead for a less harsher sentence than what they'll give me. <laughs> I'm not going to be that merciful to someone that abused me every day of my life. There's no good qualities about you that makes me want to save you. There's got to be something I can do. I'll do anything. Just tell me what you need and I'll provide it for you. I won't request anything from you. You need to realize that this isn't all about you. You act as if the world revolves around you. Well, that's not the case. I'll leave you to your fate. Maybe you'll learn a lesson from this. Who knows? I'll see you in the court, Sean. I'd dress nicely if I were you. They're not meant to, but the judges judge based on appearance. Well, I bet you didn't wake up today and think that was going to happen, did you? Looks like they're going to suspend my charges. I was there. You don't need to tell me. What a shame. I know you must be fuming right now about it. Your little plan to charge me for a criminal conviction didn't work. I've gotten away scot-free. I guess the court saw through both our intentions. They realized that I wanted to get a divorce as well. I should have been more cautious in the way I conducted myself. Too bad, Lily. Looks like I win today. Now we're back to our normal lives. Here's to being a married couple again. It seems that way, doesn't it? Don't think I'm going to be lenient with you, though. You'll understand soon enough the consequences of your actions. I don't know about that. It sounds like it's all just bark and no bite. The courts decided that our dispute was just a product of what happens when couples marry for a long time. It doesn't seem like they were too keen on charging me with any offenses. I don't know. We'll have to see about that, won't we? Everything has gone completely back to normal. I've kept my job and I haven't received any financial damage, so your empty threats don't scare me. Yeah, well, good for you then. If you lost your job, it would be hard for me to take a lot of consolation money out of you. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm completely out of harm's way. I couldn't have expected a more desirable result. Don't worry. I have something up my sleeve. I'm not showing you what it is just yet, though. Go on, yap it up all you want. Your little tactics don't scare me anymore. I know you can't take a shot and actually harm me. Considering we're still married, are you going to come back here? <laughs> No way. I'm fine where I am, doing my usual job. I don't need to go back to you. 
Oh, I see. Fair enough. I respect your decision. You don't have to come back here if you don't want to. I guess I'm just going to have to hire a maid instead. Go on then. I don't care what you do. Do whatever you want. I've been seeing a lot of posters around for cleaning services. It seems they're getting very popular recently. They are. That's why I'm riding the train and benefiting from it while I can. I even talked to my mom and she said that every now and then when she needs a break from her everyday duties, she hires one of these maids to clean the house. Good for her. We all need a break at some point. I'm just saying this so you know that I don't actually need you. I'll be completely fine without your sloppy cleaning skills. Don't worry, Sean. I'm fine without you too. You go do whatever you want with your life. I'm not interested in what you do now. Look at you talking all tough when the other day you were just a housewife. I told you, didn't I? I wasn't just a housewife. I had my own job that I would do when the house was in order. I didn't devote every second into cleaning the house. I had my side hustle which worked out for me in the end. Having a job that you do in your spare time isn't a real job. I wouldn't be bragging about it like it's such a great thing. Looks like you can't see a good thing when it's there in front of you. That job I did in my spare time has earned me quite a bit of money. Don't act cool when I know you're suffering from this. I know you wanted to do me dirty. I'm not trying to act cool. I'm just pointing out that you're wrong and I'm sticking up for myself. Just keep barking, you old lady. I don't care what you have to say. I'm going to enjoy a nice, quiet house. I'll get some Uber Eats to celebrate. Do whatever you want. That's not my house anymore. The courts did say that I might be charged the consolation fee, but nothing too much for me to stress and worry about. Good for you. Although, I wouldn't be too hopeful. Seems the lawyer that was appointed by the court is interested in helping me with the civil case against you. That saves me the trouble of having to find my own lawyer. Seems lately there are lawyers who dabble in civil and criminal cases, so I shouldn't really be surprised. I think the man that represented you in court is trying to snatch any chance he can to get at some good work. True, he may be doing just that. Anyway, what are you going to do? What are your plans? I have my own legal advisor that will represent me in court. He mainly specializes in corporate law, though. He might not really understand the territory that we're in. He's giving me his word that if he doesn't feel like he's up to the task, he will introduce me to someone that is. Seems like the both of us are playing on a level field here. Neither of us could get a lawyer that's fit for the job. It'll be interesting how all this plays out. Do you really have the money to hire a lawyer with a company that you just started? Surely you aren't earning enough to do something like that. My lawyer is someone that's been helping me set up my company from the very beginning. He's very loyal and I trust him. I don't need to question his integrity, so I'm happy to have him represent me. There you go again. First you start boasting about money and now you're boasting about your connections. I can say the exact same about you. You've always loved to showboat. I guess I'll see you in family court then. Just so you know, I don't intend to lose. Same as last time. I don't like to lose ever. I'll see you in court. Well, they decided my fate quite quickly, didn't they? They did indeed. We both agreed to the divorce now. All that's left is the consolation money that you have to pay. I don't think the decision was very fair, though. Don't you think so as well? $30,000 is a lot of money for something as trivial as this. It may be trivial to you, but not to me. You committed a crime, and a heavy one at that. So, you deserve to be charged this much. I should have tried harder to expose the fact that you also wanted this divorce. They would have eased up on me if I did that. 
It's not that easy for people to get a divorce once they're already married. They didn't suspect me because it's not normal for people to want to get a divorce. <laughs> Sounds like you were taking the oath you made at the altar very seriously. I thought that was what the marriage was all about. It's meant to be forever until death do us part. But times are changing now, so the younger kids might be thinking differently when they get married. I said a lot of unnecessary things that I shouldn't have. Things could have gone better if I just kept my mouth shut. What do you mean? What could you have done better? I think I stroked your ego too much in there. In order to keep a good image, I said that you've always supported me financially. I think you might have gotten a big head about it. So what? That's what the wife is meant to do. I don't see anything wrong with that. That way of thinking is so out of date. It's like you're living in the 18th century or something. Do you seriously think people are thinking like that still? Modern families aren't like that. I should have embarrassed you in front of everyone and said I make as much money as you and more. I won't have my wife say such disrespectful things straight to my face. Why not? I'm not your wife anymore. Do what you said you were going to do and hire a cleaner to do the house. They will be as obedient as you want them to be. They'll shut up and do the work and if you have something to say they'll listen to you without talking back. They'll basically be a speechless doll walking around the house for you to boss around. I'm getting sick of you and the garbage coming out of your mouth. I can't believe I put up with it so much over the years. Well, luckily for you, you won't have to be with me any longer. We are now officially divorced. Don't forget about that consolation money. I want the exact amount paid as soon as possible in a lump sum thank you. I know you don't have to tell me twice. I know that I owe you money. Good. You can send it to my bank account. And I want to see a screenshot or some sort of proof showing that you actually did send it. Shut up. I said I'll do it. I'll do it now if I have to. That's a good boy. So what's your plan from this point on? Are you actually going to hire someone to clean the house? That's right, I already have someone employed. I'm living quite comfortably with someone that actually does the job properly. Thanks for being so open to the idea of getting a divorce. Thanks for paying me $30,000 worth of consolation money. I'm going to handle it very carefully. Enjoy your new ugly cleaner. I will. I don't care how she looks. As long as the house looks spectacular, that's fine with me. That's good. Knowing your standards, it'll never be perfect, no matter how hard she tries. I know she'll do a good job. I don't know why I didn't do something like this earlier. It made me realize I didn't need you in my life in the first place. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. What's that supposed to mean? Don't tell me you actually think you're important to me. Don't worry about it. I didn't mean much by it. Good on you for finding a cleaner that you actually like. Thank you. The company that dispatches these maids is the best of the best. It doesn't matter who they send out. They're always doing a good job. Oh, yeah? That's good. They sure are. My parents are using the same company, but I have a different cleaner to the one that goes to their house. But that doesn't matter. She always does a fantastic job of the house. Good for you, then. You can never do better than the pros. I haven't found one speck of dust in this house yet. They are getting paid to do it, so I'd assume they do a good job. The moment they mess up, they could get the boot from their company. You would think a housewife would do a good job as well, considering she gets her meals paid for and a roof over her head. Even so, the pros do a much better job than the useless housewives. It's good driving in the car on the way home, knowing that I'm going back to a home that's in perfect order. Well, it seems that everything worked out for you then, didn't it? Once you pay off that consolation fee, you can go back to a normal life with your perfect house. 
That's right, I just have that pesky little fee left. I should thank you for our marriage. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't realize how much of a waste of money having a wife is. Well, that's just your opinion. I don't think everyone thinks the same way you do. I won't bother trying to argue with you, but I should point out that there are marriages where the wife is also working alongside the husband. In those situations, both the husband and the wife have to come home and clean together. So your idea that the woman should be cleaning the house is a little bit outdated, don't you think? It's not like the man can't clean the house either. I'm sure a man can wash dishes. Yeah, thanks for reminding me of those pitiful couples. They are a disgrace to what marriage is. They always talk about the rights of a woman and how the times are changing. The progressive movement is making women get paid an equal wage, if not more, than men. It's an absolute travesty what's going on. I'll never agree with what the world is changing into now. I can see you feel very strongly about this. You really disregard women, don't you? Not disregarding, I'm just spitting the facts. A girl can never win against a man, physically or mentally. People need to understand that. Well, if that's how you think, then go for it. I'm not going to stop you, even if I think you're disgusting. What's wrong? You don't have an argument? You've basically admitted defeat to me. No, I'm amazed, to be honest. In this modern society, you're the only person to think like that. I haven't met anyone else like you. If you don't catch up with the times, I don't think you're going to cope very well. That old type of thinking doesn't apply anymore. You can say whatever you want about the world being different now. I know that any man is thinking the same thing as I do. We know we are stronger and above women. Well... I think you need to have a good and long conversation with a modern-day man. They'd be very offended by the things you have to say. There are some families where the man is staying at home while the wife is out working. In those situations, they properly show appreciation to their wife. Even the cleaning service that you're using at the moment, whoever is coming to your house to clean is working there and bringing money home to their family. Here you go again about that cleaning service. It's not really a real job, is it? Anyone can do something like that. Doesn't require any expertise. That's not true. It's a lot more intricate than you realize. They study hard beforehand, and with the knowledge they've amassed, they customize their cleaning style to the family's needs. Especially when they get a short-tempered, cranky person like you. There's a couple of families where it's very hard to please the person they're cleaning for. So I don't think it's something that anyone can do. It's a lot harder than you think. What do you mean someone like me? I'm not cranky. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I seriously think you're not capable of doing it. I was married to you for a long time. I know exactly the type of person you are. You're very particular about the things you do. When things aren't going your way, you're quick to chuck a tantrum and get angry at people for it. I can see you shouting at some of the maids, too. So, whoever is left with the fate of cleaning your house is probably going to quit within the week. I beg to differ. I think people would be happy at the opportunity to clean a great house like mine. Just ask the girl that has to clean my house. I've never had to get angry at her once, and she's been coming here for a week now. I guess that girl has a lot of patience then. She must be paid very well to keep up with you. It's a testimony to how nice I am. I'm a good guy and you know it. That's why she always does a good job. That's not true. She's not doing a good job because she likes you. She's working hard because I told her to. What the hell? What do you mean? Did you find it weird that I've been listening to your stupid, boring story this whole time? Don't you think there was a reason behind it? The cleaning company that you're currently using is my company. I made it. What 
the hell? What do you mean? It means the company that your parents are using and recommending was my company. I know exactly how your parents like the place being cleaned and where they lay out their furniture. So what you're saying is that I've been paying you money this whole time? Why didn't you tell me anything? Well, the money doesn't go directly to me. I still have to pay my staff and expenses as well. But in a technical sense, yes. You have been paying me the whole time. Thank you for your continual usage of our service. That can't be right. The likelihood of that happening is very low. I applied for this company through a pamphlet that came in the mail. Well, that's how we promote our business. We have our flyers distributed in the mail. In your case, however, I personally put the pamphlet in there for you to see. So you were the one that did it all along? You set me up. I sure did. And not just you either. I did the same thing to your parents. I knew it would be easy for you guys to take the bait, especially with your mother. I've known for a long time that her husband is much like you in the cranky department. I knew the moment she saw our service she would apply for it instantly. Additionally, to make sure that your mother and you used our service, I made the price on the pamphlet cheaper than usual. You're a real crafty woman, and I'm not saying that to compliment you. Crafty? Don't get angry at me for it. All I've been doing is making the right move so that my business can prosper. Thank you for becoming part of our customers. We take your kind words to heart. We hope you continue using our excellent service. Oh yeah? I bet you feel so triumphant about yourself, don't you? Well, this will wipe that smirk smack off your face. If I have to pay money to you, I'd rather cancel. Are you sure your decision is final? Yes, why wouldn't it be? With your high expectations, I doubt any other cleaning service would be willing to clean your house for you. We knew what you wanted, so we were able to perform the job. If I were you, I'd think twice about canceling your service with us. That's not true. I'm not asking a lot when it comes to the house. I'm just asking for the basics to be covered. Trust me, I got feedback from her staff. You are a hard man to please, but that's not the only reason. I think you should stick with our service. We actually charge a much cheaper rate than other cleaning services. You're actually in a very good position. It can't be that good. I'll pay a little bit more extra if it means that I don't have to give you money. I'll let you check the local cleaning services yourself. You'll find out very soon how expensive this business can be. Jesus, the prices on these cleaning services. This is insanely expensive. I told you, didn't I? I know how much you earn. Then you couldn't possibly be able to pay off this amount. Your only option is to stick with our service. But I have some bad news to tell you. I've been getting sick of charging you a cheap price this whole time. Plus, your demands are too strict for my staff. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cancel your contract with us today. I'll also be canceling your parents' contract as well. What? No! If I don't do this, you'll never appreciate the type of work that we have done. Now you'll have to do it on your own. Uh, no, wait, please. I can't clean this house. I don't want to do it. I'll accept a normal contract if you just continue the service for me. I'm sorry. We aren't interested in serving short-tempered and cranky customers. Goodbye, my former husband. I ended the cleaning service with Sean and Sean's parents. Sean's mom contacted me saying she needs my service so she doesn't have to put up with her husband. I felt sympathy for her at first, but she is responsible for raising a son that abused me. I might think about it after she teaches her son how to treat women better. As for Sean, it seems that he's using another cleaning service now. Unfortunately, due to the consolation money that he has to pay me, he was not able to continue the service for long. 
He tried asking his parents for money, but was rejected by them. It seems his house is one step away from becoming a garbage dump. As for my business, it's going quite well. We are starting to spread our wings and are reaching new areas that want our service. I'll strive to keep utilizing the knowledge I've accumulated in helping many families with their living arrangements. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed it, please remember to click the like button. See you in the next video!